is something I would reach for this time of year and any time of year to be honest. I'm close to being finished with it and I love it so anything that gives me spooky vibes I'm all for it. Thank you. 
motionless and white. Actually, I'm just kidding. I have no idea. Um, actually, there's one song that reminds me of Autumn, and I can't even tell you why. I don't know if it's because of the name of the song, but every time I hear it, it makes me think of this time of year, and it is Sweater Weather by The Neighborhood. Every time I hear that song, whether it's in the summer or in the winter, it makes me think of fall every single time, so I would say that it would be that one, and if we want to be silly, uh, Werewolf by Motionless and White, if any of you know who Motionless and White is, you're going to agree with me. <laughs> what is your favorite cozy, comforting TV show to watch? This is not really on theme, but it, when you say the word comforting, I immediately think of The Office, like hands down. The Office, King of Queens, Two and a Half Men, Everybody Loves Raymond, those kinds of shows to me are comforting and not even gonna lie, I watch them on TV Land pretty much every single night, except for The Office, that's not on TV Land. I will watch that on Peacock when I'm in the mood for The Office which is pretty often. What is your favorite spooky or Halloween themed movie to watch? So immediately what comes to mind are the classic Disney Channel original movies from the 90s and early 2000s, so Halloween Down, obviously. Um, movies like that, Under Wraps, Mom's Got a Date with a Vampire, The Witches, all of those good movies that Disney Channel had way back in the day. Every year I think of those, and of course Hocus Pocus. Um, I'm not really into horror. We've already crossed that bridge in a previous video. I wish I was a horror girly, but I am not. Also, this isn't technically a movie, but I love watching paranormal investigations on YouTube, but they basically could be a movie because they're like an hour plus long. And more specifically, Sam and Colby, I love their videos. They're my favorite. I love watching their stuff and exploring with Josh too. Those are like two of my favorites, so I'm gonna count those. Anything paranormal I'm into. Describe how you would spend the perfect autumn day. Um, I would say if it was a nice weather, just going on a walk outside, looking at all the beautiful leaves, I think that would be super relaxing. And having a bonfire at night and being all cozy by the fire, that just sounds amazing to me. And if it's involving just staying in, I would say reading a book, a spooky book, and just chilling. Like, honestly, it doesn't get better than that. Let me bring an item for this question just because I haven't tapped on anything in a little bit. This is the candle leaves from Bath & Body Works. And the question is, when is the last time you jumped into a pile of raked up leaves? I couldn't tell you. I really couldn't tell you. Probably when I was in like fifth grade. I, I really don't even know. That's wild. I'm gonna go with fifth or sixth grade and just roll with that. Tried carving a pumpkin before. 
being cozy and warm and another staple for me are beanies and I thought I'd go ahead and make some sounds with this Next question is, what is your favorite Halloween candy or 
colors that I should be wearing. I don't know, I, I notice a major difference when I'm wearing these warmer, rich tones versus like cool tones. I always seem to look better in these. <laughs> and that's something that I newly fell in love with was like that rich chocolate brown. That's my favorite as of right now. And if you're curious, the lip I'm wearing is called Coffee by Elf and it is their matte liquid lip. It's like the perfect deep chocolate brown, so if you're looking for a really vampy deep lip, this is a great one. And these last a really long time as well. And they're affordable, I love e.l.f. If you were to have a familiar like a witch, what animal would it be? Either a black cat with green eyes, or an owl. So for the final question on this part of the tag, it is in the United States and Canada, Thanksgiving is celebrated in autumn. The question everyone asks during this holiday is, what are you thankful for? So genuinely, I have a lot to be thankful for, but I will say the number one thing that I am thankful for is my health and my family's health. In a good position because at the end of the day health is wealth and if you don't have your health you don't have anything and I think that's the number one thing that I'm thankful for every day and it's just the most important because like I said if you don't have that you don't have anything and you can be thankful for so many things but for me that's just top tier and having an able body to carry out daily tasks and such. I'm just thankful for my overall health and that I still have my family with me and their health is doing all right as well, so that's it for me for sure. Now we're moving on to the this or that questions and these are just quick ones and I will tap on my little ghost candle while I do these. Okay, first one, pumpkin spice or apple cider? Apple cider. <laughs> walk through the woods or walk through a cemetery. To be honest with you, I would probably say walk through a cemetery because they're beautiful and those people need to be visited too, you know? Candles or fairy lights? Candles for sure. I love fairy lights, obviously, but candles 100%. Candy apples or candy corn? Candy apples. Sweaters or flannels? Ooh, how could I ever decide? flannels though. I'll take flannels over sweaters. If it's at hoodies, that would be a tie, but I'm gonna take flannels. <laughs> Picnic or bonfire? Bonfire. Scarves or cozy socks? Cozy socks all the way. Listen to the rain or crunch the leaves? Listen to the rain, I'd say. Witch or ghost? Ghost. Movie night or read a book? Die. Could never decide. That's a tie. Lately though, it's been read a book, but it's a tie. <laughs> and the last and final question is the smell of leaves or freshly baked pumpkin pie? I'm gonna go with the pumpkin pie because there's nothing quite like 